Today we'll be launching out of Hammond, Oregon, which is near the mouth of the Columbia River, to do a mix of fishing in the ocean. Now the first target will be tuna due west of the Columbia River near the 125 longitude line, and just a little south of the Astoria Canyon. And then on the way back in, we'll try for some bottom fish, specifically lingcod, sablefish, and halibut. And a little closer to shore, we'll go for salmon. A little bit of a smorgasbord of fish for the fish box. You just left.
Now we wanted to transition to do some bottom fishing so we made our way back in a little closer uh, to the south part of the Astoria Canyon. Here we're going to target some sable fish, some lingcod, and some halibut. I thought it would be good to pause here for a moment and talk about our rigging for sable fish. Now normally I use a spreader bar and above the spreader bar I usually will add a shrimp fly with a dropper loop and this gives us something else to offer if we drift into structure that has some rockfish. Attached to the spreader bar is a simple mooching rig. This is 40 pound test with the 5 aught and 6 aught uh, fixed hooks and we're fishing in around 750 feet of water so we'll have about 48 ounces of wet on, uh, weight on the bottom of the spreader bar. Now you will catch the occasional lingcod and halibut with this rig too as you drift over the area, which is fine as uh, we want those fish too, but the main target with this rigging is the black cod or the sable fish. Now some things to keep in mind, the sable fish are very light biters, so we use herring and the biggest problem is is detecting whether or not you have them on because they'll just sit there and mooch on it and inhale it. I really have trouble with them stripping the bait. The biggest problem is making sure that they haven't inhaled it. Um, and then you, it's hard to feel them with, uh, you know, seven to 800 feet of line out and with that weight. But uh, they're not much of a fighter, but they definitely are good eating. And this rig is very effective at uh, hooking and, and catching them. So I'm jigging, the other rods are rigged up with herring and a mooching rig, but I always like to do this in a new area as we were uh, drifting over an area that I had been scouting 
and it's always nice to have at least one jig rod because you can feel the bottom, feel what the composition of the bottom is as you're going over it. And if there's any halibut or ling cod there, you have an opportunity uh, to, to hook up with them having at least one jig rod out. No, it's, no, no, it's uh, one of those. Uh, uh, the sable fish? The sable fish. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we like those. Yeah, well, is it, it's, he's well hooked. Okay, excuse me, Lucas. Grab it by this and bring him in. Yeah, it's good. Oh, we like that's, yeah. that's what you want to eat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, wait, he's going in. Okay. Yeah, okay. they're one of the more normal looking fish. Uh, well, it's all relative, I guess. You need another bait? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, let's get this fish over here first. Oh, table fish. Okay. Um, this is an easy on hook. Unhook it, please. You want me to deal with the fish? Oh, okay. shoot. Here, hang on. You don't have a... You, dude, you got tangled up with him okay. over here. Right. Trying to undo right. it, and we got three-pound balls holding on here. That's it. You got know what it's loose. I will. Can you hold this guy here? I think I got a fish on too. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Careful there, Lucas. This looks good. See? Okay. Twist and pull. And when I say twist and pull, it means the same way that the hook goes in. Try to undo it that way. Twist. It's facing the opposite direction. There you go. Okay, we oh, got another one here. Blood, here. Okay, help you do out. Okay. Can you go to the Can lift it up? Yeah. yeah, we'll grab it. I have my tent. Same. Hang on, you Ooh, guys. Guy. Okay. Is that a Same thing. Can you get the hook out? Don't let oh. it get tangled up. Dude. Unhook it. Can you get it? Try to help you. What a rat's nest. That's the big one. Yeah, that's the biggest one. Okay. Start over. Commercial fishermen. Yeah. Like Feel better. That's all you're going to get in the sand, which is okay. Keep five of those per person. Can I help you get Yeah, grab it. Or he decides to take off. Grab the. Oh, you know, there you go. There you go. Come with fire. Oh, he's kind of cute. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Let him tangle. Barely hooked. All of them in. There you go. We're now going to move into some of the gravel beds so that we can focus on lingcod and halibut. Just want to take a moment to kind of go over what our rigging is here. Uh, this is a halibut rig that we typically use here. Uh, got a hoochie on one of the hooks. And we have on this other circle hook, <clears throat> this has been threaded on to give it a little action. You take your bait and pop this on here on this uh, circle hook. 
Now, if you have stuff that sticks on here really good, like uh, tuna belly, if you have the skin on there, that'll hold good. Salmon skin, salmon belly, that is all good bait. If you do put herring on, you gotta be careful uh, of them stripping the herring. So some guys will use magic thread. I've even seen guys use zip ties to help hold the herring on here. Uh, but all that bait works. Um, it, it's just a concern of, of them stripping it. So the nice thing with having two hooks like this is that if the bait gets stripped on one, at least you have something else that's working. And that's what I like about this rig. On this end, uh, this is for our weight. The other end goes to our top shot, which goes up onto the main line. Now, you can buy these. They're, a, they're fairly affordable at your uh, local sporting goods tackle shops. I build them at, uh, myself out of two 50-pound test uh, mono with crimp connections. Uh, so whatever path you want to go, um, you, you got some options here. I use circle hooks. It's a lot easier. It's just basically reel it in. Uh, you can use octopus hooks. Uh, some guys do like to do that, but th this is for this rig. That's how I set that up. Now you can use a spreader bar. I have used these, but you do need to be careful if you've got a bunch of guys on board, especially if they're not experienced um, in keeping their lines vertical on a drift, because these will be a tangle magnet. And with braided line, it is a pain to undo those tangles. So just be aware of of uh, using these. And the other reason why I don't like using these is that if I use a mooching rig then and my bait gets stripped, then I'm done. I'm not fishing, right? At least with this rig, I got two baits, two offerings, and uh, I'm still uh, fishing in between bait checks. That, that thing over there. It's not Lucas. Oh yeah, here's more, here's more. Come on, come on, get it. Go for it. There he is, go for it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, 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 hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. You got it. Hit it. Keep the rod tip up. Move, move. Don't do it like a rookie. Just keep reeling in. Keep the rod tip up and reel in. You don't need to do this pumping. Not with 360. It came off. This is your rod. Oh, it's my rod. Okay. Are you sure you don't want? Hurry up, man. Okay, okay, okay. Real? What did I, what did I do wrong last time? It, it, it wasn't hooked well. He's gonna probably get hung up on your thing. Here, get, get him some space, but don't get him over on this side. Keep reeling him in. Hey Lucas. Uh, 
Actually, Uncle Don, you want to do this? Here, come here. Hold it. Uh, make yeah. sure that tip stays up. Let me get this rod out of the way. So you have space. And then keep it on this side of the boat. So, here. I need the net. weight on this side of the boat. Come on, you got, you got plenty of, okay, go. Well, I was going to try to net, but I can't net over here with wet Because the swim deck is getting water all. And yep. we can keep it. and one link cod. Oh my god, I got one. Oh man, right on the on the vehicle. Okay. I see it's bleeding too. Maybe we're too deep. Maybe. You got one. Come in. There you go. And I almost lost that one. Tip up. Always keep the tip up. Always keep the tip up. Remember, it's like a shock absorber with that tip. Fish, I see him. 
This one has an actually here this remote. Right? Right there, he's mounting it. He's mounting it. He's mounting it. There it goes. This one I saw too. You got one? Yeah. You got one? Operator. Uh, yeah, there you go. She's coming. You got it, or you need me to get it? Okay. Get it. You go get it. Here. All right. He's coming. Get that tip up. Get the tip up. Oh yeah, it looks like a shit up. Real. Real. Oh, yeah, I am. Keep it, to the, keep it to the right. Keep it to the right. Don't take it. Let it, yeah, don't let it go down that way. The propeller's still running down here. Raise up on it and bring and then lead it into the net when he brings it in. Keep going. You got a long way to go yet. See my ball. See red, the ball. That little red dot. You got to reel it all the way in. Oh yeah. Keep it to your right. Keep it to your right. <laughs> yeah, he'll. That's all right. It's okay. He's not quite tired. Just keep it tight. He's trying to reel, but it's not doing anything. Down. But don't get it too tight. You snap the line off. You got a lot of line twists there, buddy. Well, he's lip, not lip, helping lip. by. Uh... Lift, lift, lift. Oh, he's not ready. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh, you lost it, Jeremy. Gosh, I could have done that much. Uh, <laughs> trying to stab it. I know. Okay. Sorry. That was my mistake. Well, that was a fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. I screwed up on that. It's okay, Dad. We can't believe I did yeah, that. He was a coolie anyway. Actually, he looked nice. No, he was that nice to me. Reconcile. Sorry about that. I should have let it make one more run. Uh, okay. <laughs> here we go. Okay, let's see if we can do that again. Where are we at? What do you mean, where are we at? I'm trying to look at my heading. Wait, hey. hey. Oh, no, hey, we got a double. Oh, this one? Well, we started to. Leave it. There, oh. there it goes. Double, baby. Oh, Ooh, he's taking line. This one came off. This one came off. Oh, gosh. I'm at 60 oh. feet. Okay, okay, you're all right. Here, take it over on this side. That one was back. Yes. Oh, here we go. You got. You 
gone? Okay. I thought for sure he knocked it off the way this thing was acting. That's what it feels like it should look. Does it? Okay, let me get the motor lowered. So used to the other one. All right, we got him. I know. I'm so used to that other one where it's so much. Hey, you're about ready to screw this one up. Too. I know. I know. Fire me. Fire me now. You get. Are you be good? School. Yeah. down low. Don't let him, don't bring him up out of the water. He'll splash out of the water and hit the hook. Whoa, there we go. That's all right, let him do it. Let him, let him fire it out. No, wait, wait. Let me see. There we go. Separate and bring it in. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's already yeah, he's in. Well, that drag is set for the. 